Shalom, Shalom, Aki Misha, brother, hey, Yakanim. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash, Bavakatum. Okay, that's the Father and the Son's name in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash, the names that do matter, and that was all of their names. Okay, and those will be their names now and forever. Okay, I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. But to you, I say Shalom. Okay? Today's lesson is going to go into about how everybody will not die. Okay? According to scriptures. Because you got that saying in the world where these wicked people, they say, oh, we're all going to die anyway. So what does it matter? Oh, that's not true, man. Okay? And if you believe in the God of the Bible, who is the God of life and death, right? But this word brings you back to life. Okay, and if you believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then you will know that he's coming back to restore life back to his elect and death back to the wicked, man. All right, two thirds of Israel and the rest of you heathen nations, man. All right, but that saying in the world that we all will die is bullshit and it's blasphemy, man. All right, maybe that's you saying that because in your spirit you already feel condemned, man. All right, but there's some men out here that, that, that don't believe they shall die, man. All right, why? Because they're doing the works. They doing everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai asked upon them, man. Okay? The Lord promised them a crown. Okay? The Lord said you shall not die, man. Okay? The Lord said you shall not want. Okay? So when the people are starving, you shall, you, you know, you're going to be eating, man. Your Lord said I shall laugh at your calamity, man. His men going to be laughing too. All right? So that saying in the world that everybody shall die is complete bogus, man. It's a worldly saying. Because according to the scripture, everybody won't die, man. 1 Corinthians 15 and 51, behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. All sleep meaning we shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. And that's talking about when we get to the kingdom, man. All right, because what? What does it say in the scriptures? You know, blood and flesh cannot inherit the kingdom. So we're going to have to get our God-like bodies to, be, to even be in the kingdom, in the atmosphere. Plus, we're going to be exploring the whole universes. All right, we're going to be, man, it's going to be, man, we're going to have superpowers, man, running at the speed of light, be able to manipulate the elements, okay, be able to dive under the deepest uh, trenches of the water, man, and not have to come up for air, okay, going to be able to fly, going to be able to teleport, so of course we're going to not be able to do that in these fleshly, weakly bodies, man, we're going to have to be changed, man, okay, in a moment, in the twink of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and shall be changed. And the ones that do die, because there's going to be martyrs, okay, there's going to be some of the elect that do happen to die, because whether, for whatever reason, they got caught in a female camp, or they got caught, and they, they was tempted to take the mark of the beast, okay, and they did it. Okay, it talks about that in Revelations, that they would be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, but look, they shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And then later on in the scripture, I'll bring it out. It says the dead shall rise first. Okay, so even if you do happen to die, but you believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you did the works, you had faith, you did whatever, the best of your ability, you shall be raised up first. So it's no lose-lose situation when you're dealing with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You die, you get raised up. You go on to, you know, uh, be beamed up in those chariots, you get to witness it all, man. Okay, it's no, it's no real loss in this situation, man. Matthew 16, 28. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. So what happened to all you guys going to die? Well, the Lord just said in Matthew, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death. What's that mean? That means everybody's not going to die. There's going to be some men on the world on the planet, the elect, the 144,000 to one third that do not experience death. Just go from these fleshly bodies to the changing of the godlike bodies, the celestial bodies, man. According to the scriptures. And yeah, we believe in the scriptures wholeheartedly, 100%, man. Okay? Till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Meaning they're going to be able to witness and see how about Shem Yahweh Shai come back. They're going to witness Yahweh Shai coming back on his chariots with thousands and thousands of angels. And thousands and thousands of chariots, man. They're going to be able to witness that. They're going to be able to see that, man. All right, that's according to Scripture, which we believe. Okay, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, 
with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh. And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. So the ones that died, the one that gave it their life. All right, the one that put their life in the living sacrifice, man. You was out there in the highways and byways, you got killed. Okay, you, you, you was tempted to take a mark of the beast, you got killed. Okay, for whatever reason why uh, 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 let end up getting killed, he going to rise first, man, if he up that number. That's what the scriptures say. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And the clouds that produce rain and those white things? No, in the chariots. In the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to get beamed up. To do what? To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. Because remember it said, come up here and hide away from the indignation. That's going to be the time when the Lord coming back. And it's, going, it's a rat for the rest of the world. It's a rat for America. Them ICBM nuclear missiles going to come. All right. The only way to escape those is to be up in those chariots, man, getting beamed up. And that's what the scriptures say. They shall be amazed by the strangeness of their salvation. People don't believe that the chariots are real. People don't believe that the chariots are coming back to deliver the elect, man. That's why it says for the strangeness. People are going to think it's so strange. It's going to be impossible to them, man. But to the elect, to the ones that believe, we know that's our way out, man. We, we don't think that's impossible. We know it's very possible. Because we know ain't nothing impossible with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, on your side. Okay, nothing, man. You got to believe that, man. If you ain't in that spirit of being, of being delivered and you in that spirit of you might die, then you need to self-reflect and see what you can do better so you don't die, man. Yeah, you got to accept death. When you come into this truth, I tell you, brother, man, hey, already accept death, man. Accept that you could die. Accept that you might die. Because to be scared of death is a sin, man. And not a sin, it's a curse. It's a curse upon you, man. You got to ask the Heavenly Father for, for, to get that curse up off you, man. Okay? Because what is death anyway? 1 Corinthians 15, 15, uh, 15 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Okay? So this is, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Why? Because we ain't already died many times before, man. Okay? Death ain't nothing to be afraid of, man. The only reason that people are scared of death is because it's a fleshly thing. They want to know how they're going to die or if it's going to hurt or whatever, you know. But the spirit, man, the spirit is willing. Because we know that these celestial bodies, these fleshly bodies are the only things that really die. Your spirit lives on. Your mind, your spirit just translates from one body to another. You've been here before. Reincarnation. We can go into that, but that's not, that's, that's not for this lesson right here, man. Uh, that's why you can say deja vu. Oh, uh, I, I remember me being here before. And I remember me. I remember this situation before. It's because you was already upon the earth before, man. And you had already died. And you're already here right now. And the Lord already died, man. He overcame that, man. All right, what did the Lord say? Uh, John 16, 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye have tribulation. But be a good, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And Yahweh Shai has overcome the world, man. And not only overcome the world, he's overcame death. Uh, he died and came back to life. Okay? Come on, man. In the spiritual sense, we was dead and we coming back to life. Spoken about in Ezekiel in those valley of dry bones. We was once dried up. We ain't have nothing. We ain't have none of this uh, lively water flowing through us. We ain't had the bread of life in us. We was a nigga in the world selling drugs, doing drugs, being a worldly nigga, worshiping other gods, going off, eating pork, you know, not worshiping the honor and the Sabbath for the holy days. None of that, man. We was dead. Not dead physically, but spiritually. We was dead. We ain't know who we was. We ain't know what the truth was. We was believing in all of Esau's philosophies. All right. We ain't know what we know now, man. Because the Lord is bringing us back to life. The Lord is bringing us back to what we really are, who we really are. And that's that's a soldier, man. That's a warrior for Yahweh Shia Mashiach, man. And a soldier's not, not scared to die, man. A soldier's ready to go to war and ready to lay his life down on the line for Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Because what's the scripture say? Greater, greater is no love than he that laid his life down for his brothers, man. 
And did Yahweh Shai lay down his life for his brothers? For his elect? He damn sure did, man. So, so you better be well ready to lay your life down for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. If it, if it comes to be. That's why Lord said, gird up your loins. I require you to be a man, man. A man's ready to stand up and fight. We're supposed to be renewed, man. Why the renewing of our mind? When you was in the world, you were scared to die, man. When you was in the world, you were scared about, you, you were so scared of shit, man. Now you coming into this truth. Man, the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, man. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind, man. All right, you're not supposed to really fear nothing out here but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, not death, not these game cops, not jail, not no fucking sharks, not no water, not no heights, man. I know we flesh, we flesh, and we might be scared of those things a little bit. You know, I got a fear of, of heights and whatnot, man. All right? Hey, but if something happened, I'm up high somewhere, hey, all, 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 all my trust going y'all by Shimmy, I was shy, he going to deliver me, man. And if I do happen to die, hey, so be it, man. I'm going out on my shield. Praising in the names of y'all by Shimmy, I was shy, Lord willing, man. That's the spirit we got to be in. We got to be prepared to die, all right, but be also ready to get delivered, man. Okay? Your mindset should be, I'm getting delivered, man. Because if your mindset is, I'm going to die anyway, then you're going to continue to do the wicked shit of the world, man. If your mindset is on life, then you're going to do those things which pertain to life, which is going out in the highways and byways, which is putting out videos, which is following laws to the best of your ability, which is being charity amongst brethren, okay? Which is doing the things that the Lord require of, of us, man. And now you're going to be thinking life instead of death. Because when you was in the world, you thought you was going to die, man. Why? Because you knew deep down inside you was living wicked, man. He was out there running the streets, shooting niggas, selling drugs, popping other women's, uh, other man's women's and all that, man. So in your mind, your spirit, you was convicted that, oh, everybody's going to die anyway. That's an excuse to continue to live wicked, man. But when you get out from those wicked ways and you depart from wicked, you're making yourself a prey. Now you start to believe that you're going to be delivered and that you're not going to die, man. And that's the beauty of this word, man. That's the beauty of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because there is another way. You don't have to die. You don't have to die. You can live. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukar Kudash, Barakadum. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect. The bros that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say, Shalom.